Good morning. You are watching the YouTube channel of Ramon Thomas. I want to talk to you today about a blog post that I've just uh, written for my website. Um, for those of you who don't know what blogging is, it's a form of uh, online uh, diary, uh, a journal. Uh, some people even use it as a form of uh, independent or freelance writing. I've been blogging for a number of years uh, and I've also managed to crack the top 100 um, during various times, the top 50 blogs in South Africa. I have a network of blogs, so I don't really write about one specific topic. But also since 2007, I have been teaching blogging for business seminars. Um, at least half of my students have been journalists, media companies, uh, public relations people, and some of them have done extremely well in terms of using blogging and the blogging for business strategies that I've taught them, including some aspects of podcasting. So uh, I wrote a blog post. Uh, I decided uh, this morning very, very early I couldn't sleep. Uh, let me uh, get up early and do something productive. So um, I looked at my web stats and I look at it on a regular basis because I have Google Analytics integrated into my um, website, ramonthomas.com. And so whenever I log into the WordPress panel, uh, WordPress is the software that I use to run the website, I always see the web stats. And as I'm talking to you, I'm going to be looking at some of these uh, figures so that I can give you some of the numbers. And I want to talk about how I wrote the article. Even though the article is um, not that lengthy, it's less than 400 words, it took me about an hour and a half to produce the entire article and for me to be happy with it. Now, when I log into my WordPress dashboard, um, I, I see a snapshot of the current, uh, the last 30 days and the traffic on my website. The number one and number two articles are related to some aspects of technology that I, I write about and I speak about quite frequently in the public. But the number three article is uh, Jacob Zuma's wedding photos and uh, so is the number five article and from time to time there's another article about Jacob Zuma um, a joke that somebody emailed me a number of years ago before he became president that pops up and it has a, a quite a huge number of comments on it so I decided to blog about this if you go to the front page of my website right now you can read this article called blogging about Jacob Zuma not Malema so let me start by discussing the title. Uh, when you are writing a blog, when you are writing articles and you want to get search engine traffic from Google and Bing and Yahoo, uh, the keywords that you use in the title are very important. So I'm obviously looking to attract people who are Googling for articles about Jacob Zuma. At the same time, I've thrown in the word Malema just to pick up um, on people who are Googling and searching for Malema. Now, I don't believe Malema will be very popular, uh, you know, in the next uh, six months, 12 months, maybe two years. I think the number of news coverage that he receives will drop dramatically. But um, I start out by discussing that um, blogging about politicians is a surefire way of getting search engine traffic. And the reason for that is that politicians are always in the news. They are always making speeches. They are always having debates. If you live in South Africa, you will also know that uh, our politicians enjoy controversy. They are always involved with marches and protests. Um, both um, Julius Malema and Jacob Zuma have... Um, gotten a huge amount of publicity because of, um, I would say, their proclivity for, for the public and uh, for the stage. Now, um, one of the other comments I wanted to make was um, I also chose to highlight certain text in the article. You'll see that I've highlighted South African president, the word Jacob Zuma has highlighted a few times, and Julius Malema as well. And the reason for that um, highlight, when I say highlight, I mean I used bold. Um, I think everybody that's ever written 
uh, document in Microsoft Word understands what bold means. So that was just a way to focus the reader's attention on, on his name. It also links back to the title in terms of search engines and when people when the search engine like Google picks up on it, it'll look for more references to the word Jacob Zuma, which it can find uh, find several instances of throughout the article. Um, I, I throw in a few hints and references to Julius Malema because I know the search engines as well as social media will pick up on that. People who are Googling or t tweeting and Facebooking um, may in fact find this article quite amusing and uh, share it with their followers. Now, I, I make a reference here as well to the, to, uh, the South African president's uh, Twitter um, history. He hasn't tweeted that much. I think he's posted about 87 tweets since he started, but he's got 118,000 followers. And um, one of the consequences of this is in fact that he's now got a, um, a copycat in the form of uh, somebody called SA President, but with a Z, not an S in the president. And that person's got 9,676 followers at this moment. And uh, it's very similar to the fake Steve Jobs profile that was on uh, Twitter before Steve Jobs passed away and that person subsequently came out as a journalist. I'm not sure who this is, but this is something that's uh, sort of long overdue. Julius Malema, of course, has a number of um, fake Twitter accounts. Um, I'm, I really doubt that he knows how to log on to Twitter. So um, I, I'm sure that all of those Twitter accounts are fake and uh, are just poking fun at him. And I end off this article by talking about uh, the wedding photos that I posted. Uh, you know, blogging is not just about writing words. It's also about posting photos. And there are many websites I found like Cape Town Daily Photo Blog, PE Daily Photo Blog, and so on, that uh, where the person doesn't really write at all. All they do is post photos on a daily basis. So um, whenever I do post um I try to mix it up. In this particular blog, you'll see there's a photo that I've posted from uh, Jacob Zuma and Helen Zilla. I think it's quite an attractive photo. It's a very good quality photo. And I've made sure that it has relevant keywords in it as well. So when people use Google Images or Yahoo Images or whatever image search engine, that they can also eventually find this article. And then I end off the article by pointing people to this YouTube channel. So I look forward to people um, who've read the article and watched the video uh, posting feedback and any questions because uh, this is my way of creating more of a multimedia experience on my website and in terms of what I do online, teaching people about blogging and how to get more out of the internet. So the purpose of this was really uh, to teach people the basics of how to construct a short article um, that people might find useful and relevant. Um, and the only reason I've done this is because I want to continue to get that traffic that people are searching for Jacob Zuma. And I may decide to write more about, uh, you know, what he does online. Um, there's very little that he does in terms of his tweeting. It's not that regular. It's not that frequent. It's not controversial. Uh, so it's, it's almost uh, the um, 180 degrees opposite when you compare it to what um, the... Uh, Premier of the Western Cape, Helen Zilla, has been doing on Twitter where, in my opinion, she has alienated and offended many, many more people uh, rather than uh, gained people's uh, trust or uh, gained people um, support in terms of what she was, I think, set out to do on Twitter. So, uh, really, in summary, like, um, you know, writing a blog post, um, I think, yeah, if you're a good writer, you could probably put something together in 20 minutes or so and uh, post it online but there are nitty gritty things like constructing a good title uh, choosing good keywords uh, finding the appropriate image that you have to insert into the article linking keywords to other articles that you may have written or to relevant articles that allow your readers to find out more and discover more so I think uh, blogging is really the key for you to grow your traffic online. Uh, I've seen so much hype about social media. I've done and conducted a number of social media workshops, but I am going back to blogging for business. This is really the most valuable tool because you don't have to learn 
how to run and operate three, four, five different social media profiles for your, for you and your company and pages and groups. That all takes too much time. Focus on blogging and ask your readers to share. You know, just make it easy for them to share your your, your articles on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn, and traffic will will come and people will get to know you on social media. But there's no benefit. There's no direct benefit. In fact, let me put it this way: that the Efforts required for you to master social media marketing and the time and investment that you'd have to make, I think far outweighs the benefits that you can derive. So uh, if you are working independently as a freelancer, as a business owner, a a self-employed person, blogging for business is by far more beneficial than it is to try and learn how to uh, create Facebook pages and uh, get people to like your page. Uh, Getting... For me, getting 500 or 800 or 1,000 people visiting my blog on a daily basis is more valuable than the 4,000 people on my Twitter account any day of the week. And the number of queries and bookings that I receive through my website is testament to that because my blog, at this point in time, I would say easily generates about 80% of my uh, business leads. And at the very least, I would say at least 60 to 70 percent of my income when it ta- when I take into account the amount of invoice invoices that I submit um, on a monthly basis. So I hope you'll also reconsider blogging as a strategy and embrace it um, as as uh, the most effective tool uh, in terms of online marketing. Stop wasting your time on social media. Stop tweeting. Stop thinking that uh, you know uh, your Facebook profile and your Facebook page is going to get you uh, you know as much business. Uh, blogging is uh, far superior because people don't need to understand Facebook or, or to social media f- to actually get hold of your content. And um, I think uh, in the foreseeable future, it will continue to be a good tool because people in social media that find your articles will share it naturally and easily without you having to know how that works. So this is Ramon Thomas over and out. Thank you for watching my video.